Hi, I'm Mike Irving, one of the product managers at Xylem, overseeing the rule submersible product line. And I'd like to submit the next generation of rule billet pumps for your review in the Innovation Award. Now, we talked to a lot of customers on our current design, and what we figured out is there was three key things that customers wanted. They wanted um, easy installation, they wanted less water in the bilge, and they wanted a pump that always worked. So, there's a couple key things that we did here. Uh, for easy installation, we're working with a, a replaceable port. Um, it's a simple screw off, not, nothing that's, that's, that's uh, innovative. But what it does is it allows the customer to install the port and then screw the pump on into the, into the, uh, into the bilge. We also included a check valve. It's a nice ductile, ductile uh, check valve. Um, and you say to yourself, well, what's the big deal? Uh, other customers do that, other companies do that. Well, what we did is inside the pump, there's a couple of holes and it allows us to use those check valves so that um, the pump doesn't airlock. Now, those two holes, they allow the pump to vent the air inside the, the pump housing um, and prevent the pump from becoming airlocked, which gives a reliable use of both the check valve and the pump itself. So whenever that flitch switch activates the pump, this pump is going to kick on. The other thing that we did is we came out with a really cool strainer so that when that water is spraying out or the air is spraying out uh, when the pump is running, uh, you'll see that those holes are covered up by the strainer. And so what ends up happening is, is the water gets recirculated into the strainer of the bilge and keeps on going through the system. So you always have a loop of either air or water going back into the bilge. The key thing about this, these pumps are, we've combined the check valve, the replaceable port, the air vents onto a pump that's actually pumping 500 gallons per hour at 12 volts, 800 at 12 volts, 1100 at 12 volts, not 13.6. We took a, a hard close look at the hydraulics and we were able to make an 1100 gallon per hour pump pump at 1100 gallons per hour at 12 volts with the same amp draw as today's pump. Now what that means for the 360, the 500, the 800, and the 1100 is these pumps are running at 12 volts pumping the capacity shown on the top of the pump. That's big. So when the customer's boat's at a mooring, they're going to get 1100 gallons per hour out of the discharge of this pump at 12 volts. What I want to do now is show you what those two little air holes mean. Um, it's pretty important for a, a pump. Um, and so what I've done is I've made a, a plug out of um, a small Phillips head screwdriver and uh, some duct tape. And this is going to simulate a, a dip in the line or a blockage in the, in the discharge line um, and effectively creating an airlock. So as the, the water rises, the air can't escape that cavity inside the bilge pump. The float switch turns it on, and you can't pump water. In some cases, eventually it will catch up and push the water out. So what we have here is the, uh, the new next generation rule bilge pumps. Um, I got that same simple plug, and just plug up that discharge. And you notice when the pump first turns on, you can hear a chug. That means that the water is already in contact with the impeller. Ready? And right now, it's just cavitating. As soon as I pull this off, that water is going to come uh, shooting out. Again, that's at 1100 gallons per hour at 12 volts, not 13.6. Pretty good, huh? There are several reasons why we're submitting this for the IVEX Innovation Award. The big thing is, is we've combined so many ideas, so many, so many ideas that have already been on the marketplace into one small package. It truly makes it a better pump for the customer. It's a more efficient pump. It pumps more water at the same amp draw. It's got the easily replaceable discharge and multiple discharge sizes. It's got the back, fl back flow prevention and the anti-airlock capabilities. The other thing is, is we're also staying with the standard uh, rule marine grade blocked wire. 
Um, it's a silicone block wire. It's lasted. It's worked well for us uh, for many, many years. We're keeping it. Um, it truly is uh, a lot of ideas lo combined into one small package. Um, we're able to pr produce more flow at the same amp draw. The customer doesn't need to change the wiring. Um, it's a it's a fully packed product in one small package, um, and that's why we're submitting it for the for a review for the innovation award. Thank you very much for reviewing our video, checking out out our new pump, and gosh, I hope we win. Thank you.